Hey guys, just a quick little video of Project Turbo LS. Uh, so I'm starting to fab up the turbo piping. And obviously we have our wastegate here. It's a tile wastegate. It's the kind with a V-band clamp. So the tough part here is once you get the, uh, the lower uh, V-band on here, you weld it on. And then to put the uh, actual wastegate on, the problem is once you have the seat in there, it's actually sitting off of the lower V-band flange about... Uh, you know, about 50 thousandths of an inch, and it's super hard to press this down and tighten this fastener here to attach this clamp around, the, around both V-band faces because of the spring pressure exerted by the diaphragm here. So what I've got is I've devised a system using air pressure here, and I think you guys can see this. Once I actuate this, it'll lift the, yeah, it'll lift the valve off of the, uh, the seat, and this way both the top and bottom V-bands are basically touching each other, and you can put this clamp on super easily. So this is what I had to do to do this, because if you try to do that without that, depending on how much spring pressure you have on your diaphragm, you'll never get it because it's super tough. But just use a little bit of air pressure, and of course, people, I've reduced my air pressure on the uh, compressor to about uh, 12 psi, 15 psi, because you don't want to destroy this diaphragm in there. So I got the air pressure going, and you can see how it's lifted off the seat, so it was really easy to put this clamp on, because if it wasn't lifted, you'd have to uh, fight to get both seats or both seat faces touching before you can get this clamp on so now we've got the air pressure holding the the valve inside off of the seat and it was really easy to put this clamp on so again guys this is a really nice procedure to uh install your uh your wastegate that has uh, the v-band flange system versus the uh, the screw on type hey guys just uh additional scene here for the our wastegate install procedure Okay, so the problem here is we've got a tile wastegate and we've got some pretty high spring pressure in here. I think, I believe, it's not that high, but I believe right now it's got a, it's got a combination of springs, two of them that equal about 12 PSI. So the, the problem here is these two, once we have the seat in here, this little guy here, to seal our, our valve, basically when there's no seat, it's easy to put them together like this and then put our v-band flange clamp on see how it goes on there no problem but once we have our seat in there like that that we need the seat in there because it's got an angle uh, machined in there that basically matches the bottom of the valve so it has a good seal so basically once we have our seat in there depending how much spring pressure we have in our diaphragm here it's pretty tough to uh, push this guy down because now you see here let's see hard to get the uh, yeah see hard to get the flange on here see that see basically the problem is these two flange seats have to be or faces have to be touching so a little simple trick with the air pressure or compressor I've got it set to about 12 psi so watch this so now it's lifting the uh, the valve up like that and as you can see, our flange faces on the V-bands, they're both touching. So we should be able to get that, uh, that clamp on pretty easy. Okay, so there we go. Get this guy on. See if I can do this one-handed. Probably can't, but we'll see. seats on there.
of noise guys but uh yeah so anyway so that's done so as you can see valve's still up i hope you can see that i think yeah you guys can see that anyway so that's the procedure so we'll just take this guy off here